To understand the shoulder joint, let's get acquainted with the upper half of the humerus. This is the head of the humerus. The articular surface is half of a sphere. On the anterior aspect is a well-marked groove, known as the bicipital groove, because the tendon of the long head of the biceps runs in it. At the proximal end of the groove are the lesser tubercle and the greater tubercle. Because it's between two tubercles, the bicipital groove is also known as the intertubercular groove. Down here on the lateral aspect of the humerus, almost halfway down the bone, is a rough spot, the deltoid tuberosity. Now let's see the distal end. It's flattened from front to back with a complicated articular surface and two prominent lumps, the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle. These are major muscle origins, as we'll see. Above each epicondyle is a ridge, the epicondylar ridge. Here's the lateral one. The articular surface is in two parts. The pulley-like trochlea articulates with the ulna. The rounded capitulum articulates with the radius. Now we'll add the radius and the ulna to the picture. The big hollow on the back of the humerus, the olecranon fossa, accommodates the end of the ulna, the olecranon, in full extension.